Today we go from this to this. It's beyond exciting. Stay with us. Hey, what's up? This is Doug with Design Aid Studio. In my last video, I went through a brief exploration of the user interface of Linux CNC. And there are lots of different user interfaces or skins that you can use with Linux CNC. One of the most popular is Qt Plasma C, or as some people call it, Qt Plasmac. In my last video, I went through brief dry run, probing, and homing. And I mentioned that I was really close to being able to try a test cut. Well, since then, I've gotten slats in my table and water in my table, and I actually uh, got set up for a test run, and then this happened. This is my first full test cut attempt and if everything was wired up correctly and if all of my mapping in the PNC conf setup wizard was correct I should have seen the torch on signal firing up the plasma cutter and nothing is happening sound of crickets so disappointing and then I see QT plasma C telling me that several attempts have been made with no success so disheartening. So I thought, well, maybe I have a wire in the wrong place, but then I checked my wiring schematic against my actual mapping setup in the Linux CNC setup wizard known as PNC conf, as in PNC config. And sure enough, there was a mapping error. It went like this, the torch on signal was originally scheduled to come out of a solid state relay number zero. And in my actual wiring, I switched it to number four, SSR four, based on advice from Peter C. Wallace, the founder of Mesa Electronics, because that number four output has better isolation from electromagnetic interference noise. But when I actually did my setup, I forgot to uh, make that change. So I'm going in through the setup wizard again. I'm modifying a configuration that was already created before, clicking forward. I'm choosing the most recent one that I've created, opening it up, and all of these settings can remain as they are. Uh, later, I'll put screenshots in so that you can see everything uh, on each screen. So in case you're setting up a low rider three with plasma, you'll be able to use the same settings if you like, settings that are known to work with a low rider three. Each screen that I'm showing you, I'm pausing to hit print screen. And when I publish the video, I'll load those up. Of importance on this screen are the tabs and you'll notice that torch on here shows at SSR output zero zero and that is actually an unused output I should have put torch in on the fourth one over of course you have to count zero and for sanity check let me double check let me double check to make sure that I'm putting it in the right place. I'm gonna to go to documents, plasma, wiring diagram. All right, no, <laughs> counting zero. Zero is the first one, one is the second one, two is the third one, three is the fourth one. Four is actually the fifth one, so it should actually be labeled four. So going back to the wizard, it should actually be labeled four and it is the fifth one. Ah, and I see a difference. This one is, this is the first one of two that is not labeled as a solid state relay output, 
but labeled as an OUTM, an out M output. And apparently that's why he didn't have me go from just zero to one. Zero to one, two, three, and four would have been the very same amount of isolation. And so to get that increased amount of isolation, I'm switching all the way to one of these last two. So I'm changing this to plasma, torch, on. Output, four. Out, M, output, zero, four, torch, on. Print screen that. I'll show you this tab, which is also of importance. Here's how I have my stepper motors set up and my arc voltage detection is set up here, print screen. And now I'll walk you through how my torch height control analog to digital converter is set up. This number should actually be 99, but the difference between 99 and 100 is inconsequential. And as of the version of Linux CNC that I'm running, 100 is the lowest you can go. They've since modified it so that my THC AD Model 2 is shown in this drop-down list. But for now, because I'm using a jumper setting to choose between whether my THC AD2 emulates a 5 or a 10, mine is emulating a 10, Everything matches here with my card emulating a 10, except this number would be 99 instead of 100. Again, that's inconsequential. The divider ratio of 25 was advised to me by Peter C. Wallace, founder of Mesa Electronics, who had me install a high voltage resistor in the external negative lead on the way from the plasma machine, which only has a one-to-one -one ratio, no divider, no um, voltage uh, reducer. And so by putting that high voltage resistor in line on the way to the THC AD2, it gives me uh, a divider and my ratio according to Peter C. Wallace is 25. He's an electronics genius and I'm not, so I'm going with his advice and I'm fully trusting it. And then we head into, here are the settings for my X stepper motor. Again, the second page is X stepper motor, and these steps were crucial. Um, and this one was backwards to how I would, was advised, but how I was advised wasn't working. And um, this one is, this setup is working. Same with Y stepper motor. Here again on the Y axis, this setting homing towards positive limit was backwards to how I was advised, but how I was advised didn't work, and this does work. My Z motor settings. And with that, we're all finished up. I'll go ahead and print screen these last screens but there are no settings that I touched on any of them. All right, so hopefully with that one mapping change, I now have a working ability to turn the torch on from my QT Plasma C graphical user interface for Linux CNC. So I will Turn the power on and then home all. After it, after it finalizes homing there, it will drop down 2.6 inches where I have zero set. Then it will home the X axis. And you can see here The Y, the uh, Z is homed in and zeroed out, <clears throat> and X is on its way to being homed in and zeroed out. You can see my large blue 3D printed drag chain on both the X and Y axis serving its purpose wonderfully. All right, it has zeroed out, uh, is zeroed in on the X axis, and now it is homing the Y. 
you can see here, X is all zeroed in, going for the Y now. <clears throat> that uh, emergency stop button you see is a Amazon purchase, but the case that you see it in is a 3D printed case that I designed. All right, so now all of my axes <clears throat> are honed in. And so uh, I'll go ahead and open. I'm gonna tap open in the upper right corner of the screen here, and I'm gonna open a small circle that I created in the conversational tab, which is down here at the bottom. I used the conversational tab to create a small circle for a test. It's 0 0.35 inches in diameter. And when I open that up, it comes up here. So I'm going to leave the torch turned off right here. I'm not going to enable the torch and I'm gonna do a cycle start and I'll move up here so you can see what happens when I do the cycle start. All right, so <clears throat> a couple of things I'm noticing here. I forgot to make a change to my settings once I get back in. Uh, not, sorry, not settings, but parameters. And that change has to do with, I earlier made a change to pierce height and to cut height. And those changes got lost when I just now redid the PNC Conf wizard. So I need to go back into Pierce height and change 0.12 to 0.32. And I need to go into cut height and change it from 0.04 to 0.24. I need to save my changes, go back to the main mode, main screen, and again, run a cycle start and this time, instead of the plasma tip scraping along the metal, it should ride slightly above the metal. All right, and other than the fact that my piece of metal is not as close to the corner as I would like it to be, we're doing pretty good. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna run the cycle test one more time. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> I'm as nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. Uh, wish me success as I now actually attempt my second full test attempt of actually making a cut. I'm now going to enable the torch. And if my change in setup is working correctly, this time when I run cycle start, I should see some fire happening here. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a successful test. I've still got some, what you might say, tuning up to go, but I'm so thrilled and excited to tell you that my Lowrider 3, oh, and I, I forgot to turn on my laser, I forgot to turn on my laser pointer. I think I kicked myself for forgetting to turn on my laser pointer, showing off my laser lightsaber target finder. These were put on with 3D printed parts that I designed. I'll come out with a video about those. So I'm off to the races. I'm so excited. And until the next video, this is Doug with Design 8 Studio and I wish you happy making.